guys so this is the much awaited tour of the trailer um of course right now it's hooked to rj's truck it kind of stays that way when we're rodeoing so this is the nose you can see the window out here come to the first door yes he's got a shirt in there and he's got his strings but it's very stripped down this part isn't completely insulated i've got a guy who's going to finish insulating it and put me panels over that so that it'll all be insulated the ceiling is insulated okay ac bar light lights it up this is where he puts his clothes and all that there's a little shelf up there um there's the electric we're gonna put the little fridge over there uh but and this side is um insulated so it'll be finished out um there's two bars up there that you know i use them to hoist me up but you can hang stuff from or whatever so this is very stripped out which is what we want when we go to rodeos it's not about our kind of luxury it is about um and these seats right here open up that is where we're going to put rj and air mattress so and i might put some little cute little curtains across there i don't know some little shears you know they've got little hooks up there and i thought i could just put little shears so it's got screen doors the screens need to be changed out um not any major major thing um when you're inside you can lock this from the inside there you go okay so next room up is ugh, doing this one handed is harder than normal <laughs> it's i don't think that it's harder than normal i think that it is um what do you call it uh just i'm not proficient at it toby no Psst. he always wants to get in there okay so this is the tack room and as you can see it is bigger than our barn tack room um we have an array of hooks up here for all of his tack he's got more than enough room for his cans that now don't have to be in the back seat um got eight spots for saddles this just has bars and it's all the blankets go up and it's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten um blankets on it and it unhooks you unhook it there and it swivels out i'm not going to do it but it also has brand new bar lights in it and like i said this is just tack um it's a good thing on the door it's got this little thing there we just put all of our stuff in their brushes each one now we're coming to from here we'll go inside here in a second but um from here back is all horse stuff okay now i say that but and i'll have to show you this door there's a door right here but the window's down i'm gonna leave it because it's set up for us to go here in a little bit um and this is down this door opens and this door opens but they all connect okay so even that door right there that opens up that's got the window down over it that you're not gonna be able to see in it is all storage okay and yes if you heard the story whoops if you heard the story about what uh when we went and got it about the two flats right there nice jack and it's a big rolly one with a big handle and there's two um stands to jack it up and yeah if you heard that story nothing's ever really easy with us this is what it looks like when these are closed and you can just have these little sliders open or you can close the sliders and have it for the winter you know so we do have to get a couple of these replaced uh these are the studs when when this door opens it that should pop into there and it'll hold it oops i'm off the center i'm sorry we have to get these replaced this should have a uh, thing i'm trying to figure out where i can show you okay i guess i'm just gonna have to undo one of these windows here okay so see that thing in there see that white thing right there they pop down go together and that's what holds the door now this one is missing this stud um <clears throat> and this whole one is missing off of this door so we'll get those replaced and i also think i want to replace some of these they're getting hard and crumbly um so they're not really popping down real secure so okay and for you short people if you notice how do you get to that window well it has built-in steps 
right here and you literally push it down and you can step up okay you've got ties for your horses right here you can tie them out here um yeah and it has more than one it's got steps all along there there's like three steps so that you can do them so yeah yeah this is not a very good video i know it's on because it's on my phone and i'm out here in the wind and i'm dropping my phone so anyway so this is all storage it's under the hay mangers these are the windows these are nets that screen in there the one in the very back we took it down because it was ruined um the horses tend to push out on the bottom so toby out so we put it in have it ready to go but it's just a screen for them toby sorry and rj will kick my butt if the cat gets in there and he takes him with him to the rodeo they all think this is their new house so okay sorry all right so let's go up in this bad boy um up at the top if you heard me talk about the pod that's a hay rack and it's made to keep your hay in when you're going now to get up to it we'll go around to the other side first and then we'll come down through the back sorry and the sun is probably in the wrong spot for this but it is what it is okay so here's the hay pod this you just climb the ladder and go up there and get your hay so um this door over here i'd take you through it but this is hard to get off and i know i can't get it off one-handed so but it's just an escape door and see there's another one of those things gone this would pop down and pop on it so we just open the sliders and then this of course is a big window and there's a slider so you've got four windows on this side to keep the air moving through um five windows there's another one underneath that I'm not really sure what their thinking was let's put a ladder over the window I, I don't know anyway all right so come around to the back this is the water tank it has a hose hooked up to it I haven't tested the hose and I don't want it all leaked because I have the extra pine shavings when you first get these the pine shavings are nice and fluffy but you have to clean them out and um you know the horses poop we have Hence the picker back there, you know. All right, so let's go up in this bad boy. You can see it is quite long. Five horses fit in here. They all have their own thing. This is the door, okay? So um, the windows are open. A lot of these little screens that are here need to be replaced, which is no big deal. Okay, so I'm going to have them done, but... It's not really a big deal. Um, so, this is the big hay mangers that we are talking about. This is bigger than we feed them. We feed them in little pans half the size of this. So, this is bigger. You can feed them up here. You can hay them up here. Um, this is what the screen looks like from the inside. And it just snaps up there. It's just that mesh. And so, replacing those is no big deal. Um, let's see. What else? It's got all new bar lights. And each one of these opens up. So this would go like this. Okay. And you can mount. I'm not going to. And I might even take this one off just because it creates problems. You can mount a thing right there. So if you've got something that's going to kick, it's going to kick that. There's bumpers on most of the hay mangers. I mean, you got to remember this is an older trailer. So, um, yeah. And each one has its own screen, window, you know. And then here's the back one. The back one here <clears throat> doesn't have the screen because it was tore up. So, yep. And this stall hasn't been used yet. He only took three horses with him. And this right here is the bar that goes across the back. And it blocks the fifth one in. So that when you open the door, you don't have them coming right out on top of you. So, like I said, new bar lights, air. Everything's really, really... I know it looks, and there's hooks up here, as I mentioned, to put your um, halters on. So you'd have your halters and your water, and then you'd take their bridles off, put the bridle up there, put the halter on, water them, and take them around to the other side. So it's actually a really nice trailer. I'm super excited that they won't be traveling in the stock trailer. 
And for those of you who don't know or don't remember, this is a stock trailer. There's no slants, no feet, hay manger. It's just open. Now we just put a new floor in it literally like two weeks ago, I think. So, and it's, this is how they traveled before. So that, this is, yeah, this is what they're used to. No shavings, no anything. You just go up and tie them to those poles across there. And then they went to this. So they are definitely moving up in the world and they're definitely um, doing okay, you know? So there's our um, tour of the trailer. Yes, it's older. It's perfect for what we want. I can actually see if I ever have grandkids having um, these kids travel in this trailer. So, all right, I'm gonna get off here. End of the tour because I hear it. Here comes RJ. Let's see. Maybe he'll give us a little blurb. All right. So, RJ, we just finished the tour of the trailer and waited for you to get over here so we could get a little blurb. What do you think of this? And I showed him the stock trailer. This is like. This is nice. I mean, it's a good stock trailer, is it not? Yeah. But these are luxury accommodations for these horses. What do you think about it all? The greatest thing since sliced bread. The greatest thing since sliced bread. I got it. I don't like bread, but hey. <laughs> okay, so you used it for the first time last night, right? Yep. Got the tack room. It's awesome, isn't it? Yep. Got the... Yeah. Um... And the horse stuff, did they load good into it? Was it bright? Oh, yeah. Because I for, I didn't even think to tell them. The light switches are all out here. These are light switches. Um, so you don't even have to go into tech to do them. Okay, now, here's the thing. It's stripped out living quarters, correct? Mm -hmm. Did you even go in the living quarters other than to hang your shirt up and put your strings in there? No. No. This is why we didn't want one with fancy living quarters, huh, son? All right. So, we just, it is all about the horses and the rodeo and all that good stuff. This is Star, by the way. She is in training for, oh, she's going to load into the, <laughs> you want in the tack room? Huh? But she went last night, she didn't rope last night. She's just learning to be hauled, so she's she antsy fly. and, huh? She got fly. Okay, horse fly dead. So, anyway. Do the horse fly get small? No. I don't. They're bloody. All right, so. Oh, and did you did we show anybody our brand? There's our brand. In the work, in process. Can you show what it stands for? There's an S. And there's an F. Uh-huh. And that stands for straw farm. And there's a cross. And there's a cross in the center of it. So, anyway. Um, off topic, but that's okay. So, how does it haul? Okay, we, we've hauled this thing right here, and it bounces them around and all that stuff. Does this one bounce as much? No. Does it, is it smooth? Yeah. Okay, how do you think the horses ride in it? Um, about as well as a person stays in an apartment. <laughs> In other words, it's great, but it ain't the great the great outdoors, huh? Yep. So, it's, it's good accommodation, so correct? Yep. We just have to get the one screen and get some of these little things replaced, and right? Yep. All right. Anything else you want to say? Because I podcast without you again. And this is like a morning, and we're getting ready to leave, and you're not going to be here, and you know. Peace out, Girl Scouts. All right.